Good morning, students. Today, I am going to take 9, 10, 11 and 12 standard general topic. The note making and summary writing. So, let us see how to write the note making. That is, simple method. Simple method. And easy way. And easy way. Easy way and tips. Easy way and tips. To write note making and summarizing. So here, first I will tell you about easy tips to write. Tips while tips to follow. Tips to follow before note making. Before note making. Before note making. So what is it? So here tips to follow before note making. So what is this? So as we know already you learn in your line 10, 11 and 12. So how to write note making? So here first one, first point what is this? Your good note should be good note must be must be short and compact. Short and compact. So this is the first point you must follow while you are writing note making. That is your note making note should be short as well as compact. Not only that elaborate one you should not write it. And second point what should write? Your they must be they refer to note. They must contain they must contain all the important information. All the important information. Important information should be there. Information. Important information should be there in your note. That is complete information should be given in your notebook. No. And third point, what is it? They must be present. They must be present, presented in a logical way. In a logical way. What is logical way? Logical way means that is the, the sentence should be not skip. The, the given question, you must follow one by one the statement, the point, the sentences. The third sentence should not be right as a first one. Fifth one, fifth sentence should not be right in a second one. Because you have to follow one by one. First point, second point, third point like this. That is called logical way. And now the fourth one is. What is fourth one? They must be understandable. They must be your note should be. Your taking note should be. Understandable. They must be understandable. Understandable. When? When it should be understandable. When consulted in a later stage. Consulted in a later stage. Later stage. What is later stage? Because that is what is the meaning for later stage? When you are, if suppose, you are studying <clears throat> higher classes like UG, PG and everything. And suppose the lectures, what your lecturer given and what you have to do, you have to take it. That is the notes. That should be, that note should be understandable when you are reading the term. Because while teaching, you can't able to follow everything. So that what you are doing at the time you are taking some hints like this that is called note making that the note should be what you are writing during lecture time it should be understandable when if you are developing that 
notes what you are taking in your class time you should be developed and you should be understandable when you are reading that is called when consulted in a later stage and now the fifth point what is it there are the questions should be the note making and summary writing should be the the question of the question will be as a paragraph will be as a paragraph paragraph will be the given paragraph and now the sixth point sixth point you should be there are two ways to write note making there are two ways there are two ways two ways one should be because i am talking about only note making i didn't go to go to this summary writing i'm telling about only note making there are two ways one is taking main points main points and sub points sub points that is one way and second one is what is this i'm taking main main idea or keyword keyword by using hints by using hints like this that is simple hints so this is called there are two ways to write note making so as we know for the ninth standard the question number the ninth standard and 10th standard the question number will be the question number will be 43 43 and now for the 11th and 12th standard this question the note making and summarizing it should be question number 44 so during the public examination because it will carry good marks and score you can able to score full mark in this during public examination as well as 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 so you may follow these things this is i given only tips to follow before writing note making one is good note must be short and compact and second point they must contain all the important information that is complete information should be given should be right then only you can able to develop or the summary one and now the third one they must be presented in a logical way one by one the sentences the point should be one by one properly you must write and fourth point they must be understandable when consulted in a later stage and now the fifth point the question will be as a paragraph the question it will come i told you 9th and 10 and 43 and now 11th and 12 question number 44 the question will like a paragraph they will give you not one paragraph it will contain more than two or three also and now the sixth point there are two ways to write the taking note making one is main point and sub point some title and all subtitle main title like this and second one main idea or keywords by using hints like this so this is called how to write how to follow how to easy method to write note making so see here points to remember points to remember during note making points to remember during note making so just before i told you how to write some tips if you want to carry score more marks full marks so you have to do it that and now points to remember during first one read the passage carefully read the passage that is read the question what is given in your question paper that is the question will be like a paragraph read the passage and get the theme and get the idea what is the paragraph is contain what it is so that is called get the theme and second one what is it give a suitable give Your suitable title, suitable title for your note taking, note making. First one, read the passage, and after reading the passage thoroughly, fully, carefully, and get the theme. 
and then only you can able to write the suitable heading or title in your note making. And now the third one, the what is the third part? Main idea, main idea must be under, must be, must be under main, main point, main point and sub points should be subheading some sub points must be under sub point subtitle subtitle or headings so this is the third one and now fourth one what is this use abbreviation wherever necessary abbreviation abbreviation and symbol symbols wherever possible. that is you can use abbreviations and symbol wherever possible for example what is this now the abbreviation you know and now what is the symbol here for example and the symbol is unlike this and now here Percentage, percentage you know how to write this percentage symbol. Our next one, example. For example, the symbol is E small e full stop small g. So like this. You can use it in your note making wherever it is possible. So here and read the passage and get the theme. And now give a suitable heading or title for your note making. And third one, main idea must be under main point and sub points must be under subtitle or head. And now use abbreviation and symbol wherever possible. And next one, never use, never, and next one, fifth point, never use, never use complete sentences. Complete sentences. Complete sentences. And next one, sixth part. Avoid what are the things should be avoid while you are writing note taking. Listen here and see this. And avoid conjunction, conjunctions, preposition, preposition, articles, and verbs and repetitive repetitive words repetitive words should not be repeated again and again you should not repeat the words so these and all you have to follow and now the in during public exam and how they will allot the marks for this topic note making particularly note making first one what is it for your title it carry one marks our next point what is this Subtitles. Subtitles, it carry two marks. And third one, key points. Key points under each heading. Each heading, headings, it will carry two marks. One mark, two mark, and two marks. So totally five marks for this note making. For this question, uh, both the summary writing as well as note making, it carried 10 marks. But for this note making, only 5 marks. How they will allot title, subtitle, key point under each heading. Title 1 mark and subtitle 2 mark and key point under each heading, it will carry 2 marks. So you can be able to score, guarantee and it should be 2 marks. So 2 mark for this, 2 mark title, 2 mark subtitle like so for totally 5 marks, you can able to get it, score it. And next, come to summary right. And now, what are the points, what are the tips to follow while you are writing summary right? First point, read the given passage. Read the given passage, given passage carefully. 
carefully. And second one, try to understand. Second point, try to understand. Understand the main, try to understand the main theme, main theme or main idea. Main idea. So this is. And next things on here, avoid unnecessary, avoid unnecessary things. Unnecessary things. What is this? First one is <coughs> statistical data. Data should be avoided. And next one, you should give and write write rough copy rough copy unfair copy unfair copy here one is read the given passage carefully thoroughly try to understand the main theme main idea like how you are writing in the note making and third point avoid unnecessary things for example statistical data everything and now fourth point Write mainly rough copy and fair copy. Here and now, here write first one and give the title. And then what is the fifth point? Give the give the title title for this. Title for each copies. Each copies. For example, what is copies? Rough copies and fair copies. You must write it and write the pro give the title for each each copies. That is rough copy as well as fair copy. Both you have to write the title. And next one, uh, six point. What it is? For next, uh, after writing, after writing, after writing the rough copy, after writing the rough copy, what you have to do? You have to strike out. Strike out, strike out from left to right, left to right, strike. Don't forget to do it because you may miss one mark for this. And left to right, strike out, or not the fair copy, only rough copy. And next one, seventh one. And now, it should be after now, next one, you have to shorten from the rough copy and write the fair copy. For this fair copy also you have to write the title. And next one, conclude your summary. Conclude. Conclude the summary. Write. Write this. Write these two sentences. What is this? First one, words. Words in the summary. Words in the given passage, you have to write it. Given passage. And second point, words in the summary. Words in the summary. So here, write these two points at the end of your summary. Right? Here, give the title for each copies. Six one. After writing the rough copies, write down from left to right. And now, seventh one, conclude your at last. Lastly, finally, the summary writing and what you have to do, compulsory you have to write the two the sentences which are words in the given passage and now words in the summary. For example, your question will be all the, you must count the words, what is in the question paper, the passage and suppose you have 150, one third you have to write it in your, your words in the summary. How much one third and you have to write it? 550 you have to write <clears throat> one third 50 words should be in your words in the summary so this is what is uh, how to write this one and passage it should be shortened from your passage that is called rough copy and from the rough copy the main points short from the rough copy and write in the fair copy so fair copy it will contain mostly compulsory how much 50 words suppose if your given passage given question should be 150 words means fair copy 50 these two things should be very very important to write because it will carry 
card marks. So this is a how to write summary writing. So you can able to understand how to write it. And now the question will be, and suppose you should not write. And I told you that these two um, note making as well as summary writing because why I am uh, pressing falsely telling I have written that there also read the passage, given passage carefully, here also read the passage because many of the students not reading the full passage, what is given in a question paper. What they are doing, they are reading only the first words of the passage. Suppose for example tree or the butterfly or pollution, what they are doing, they are writing only the title because the next point I give in, well, the title, suitable title, you have to write it. And now what they are doing, only reading the tree, pollution and butterfly, they are given as a title, that one. Because all the passage, it no, not contain about the pollution, not the butterfly. This is the where variation, the different kinds of titles should be given a different students. Generally, you will score more marks. And now, suppose, because you should know, your, many students are taking this as a very, uh, what is this, time passing like this, but you should not take it, but you should not be careful because in this topic only you may score full mark. Suppose they given only note making, you can get 5 mark. Otherwise, note making as well as summary writing means you can able to get 10 marks fully. Suppose, if you want to read this passage carefully, according to the, uh, I told you just before, what are the points, what are the tips, like this you can score the marks. If you follow this, you can able to get the score marks fully, 10 out of 10. And I will give you one example, how to write note making and summary writing. The question will be, make notes of the following text and write a summary in about 75 words. So this is a question, what I took just before, how to write note making and summary writing. And now the passage is, the question is, looking at the modern children, one striking difference between the childhood that the previous generation had and the one that this generation has is the lack of Indian or native games. In the 1970s, people used to play a variety of indoor and outdoor games that were the games of this solid. So what is this meaning? So this passage is about game. So this passage, I told you, try to understand the main idea and main theme of the given passage. And you must read the passage thoroughly and carefully. So, uh, this is the example which I was given to you now just before. Uh, now, what is it? And um, this passage is contained. I took only, I read only four lines from this passage. And what is the meaning for this? This passage is about the difference between the ancient game as well as the modern games. Previous generation and now the generation. So, here... In 1970s, people used to play a variety of indoor as well as outdoor games. But it should be they played these two games in the soil, not in their home when 1970. And next point, nowadays almost all children play games like cricket, tennis and football. So as you know, and nowadays they are the children of this generation was playing so many games like cricket, tennis and football. Nobody is playing games like kabaddi, goli, gilly or indoor games like here, Dayakottam and Paramapadam and Pulangu Pallangudi, Pandi or Adapuriyat. So these are all indoor games when they are in previous generation. They played. And now these are all indoor games. They are, they are not playing now. These games have a rich culture and heritage value. And their tools are passing on some ancestral knowledge. While you are playing the previous games like Pallanguri and Pandi and all these games just before I told you. 
these and all will create the culture and heritage of our ancient generation not only that it will give you some knowledge concentration of your mind and they are they also sharpen our observational and math skill unlike the hit and run games so the best that are uni dimensional and which strengthen only hand eye coordination so these games of the previous generation it will create rich culture not only rich culture and heritage but also sharp and observe our brain mind and it will give you max skill also while you are playing the indoor game like this and now strengthen our hand eye coordination also and this and all will create some things but nowadays no children was playing like this they are playing only cricket and tennis and football like this game traditional games were not just games they were designed in such a way that one can develop lot of skill like logical thinking building strategy concentration basic mathematics aiming and lot more so traditional game like all the, the traditional games will create our logical thinking thinking power will be increased and not only that building our strategy concentration our mind and basic mathematics source aiming and a lot more nowadays we develop these skill by learning aids but all this nowadays what we are doing we are not playing we develop these skills by paying money to center that conduct personal development courses but what we are doing we are giving some money to learn all these games traditional games like this traditional games actors learning aids they teach us many things while playing like to learn to win and loss develop sensory skill count and improve motor skill identify colors improve hand eye coordination and finally to have fun either by playing the game or watching the game being played so these traditional games will create all the things but the value that we achieve by playing these games are more when compared with the games that we play in our days some of the values that we gain or that they are environmental friendly we get a chance to learn about our culture on playing all this traditional game what we are learning from this we can able to environmental friendly and not only that have a chance to get a chance to learn more about our culture and history and an important things it is suitable for all ages and so they increase the interaction between generations many modern games played around the world have their origin in these traditional games which is a pride to our country's culture so all this traditional culture traditional games it will create our pride to our country so when learning we read this passage what you are understand and what is the main important main idea main theme in this passage so as i learn this as i read this passage i came to understand this is about traditional games so now while you are writing note making as well as summary writing we have to give some short up title for this and now how to write in by using this question this given passage how to write note making i told you before itself there are two ways to write uh, there are two ways to write note making one is giving heading and subheading and another one is like a point wise so how to write this one now uh, how to write so just before i given one example i explain to you how the question will be as a paragraph and first thing how to write note making and when i told you 
uh, during that time the tips to follow what are the points to remember there are two ways to write note making one is to write subheading and main heading and second one main heading main idea main points by using hints so now i will tell you how to write note making before writing this notes begin as here and you must write the title give the proper title for this for in this uh, passage the suitable title will be traditional games traditional games first one the main heading present day games so what are comes under this present day games one first point cricket tennis and football second point hit and run games and second main heading traditional games under the traditional game subheading outdoor game as well as indoor game in the outdoor game kabaddi goli gilli and indoor games the <coughs> dayakattam arthad paramapadam pallanguli pandi adupuliyat and next the third main heading specialities under this rich culture and heritage value and now next one fourth uh, main heading skills developed under this first one what are the skill you can develop while you are uh, following the traditional game like observational and math skill second one logical thinking third building strategy and fourth one concentration basic mathematics aiming teach win and uh, loss develop sensory skill improve motor skill fun at last the last heading will be pride under this pride what comes here origin for many modern games so this traditional game will be the origin for many modern games so this is the one way you have to write the note making and second one how to write it by using hints like this main idea and write hints but you should not be never use complete sentence full sentence only you take as your main idea and put like hints symbol and write like this from first to last uh, paragraph but you should not skip and write you must be the passage should be logical and you must be write for all the points one by one it should be understandable all the points should be not as your full sentence it should be only main idea key word should be right and fully and this is the one way to there are two way i told you know how to write note making next thing summary writing and uh, there are two copies should be there one is rough copy and second one is fair copy and see here the, the you should be give both the copies the correct the same title for this is the title should be traditional games for this rough copy see here nowadays almost all children play games like cricket tennis and football kabaddi goli gilli dayakattam and paramapadam and pallanguli pandi adupuliyattam all our traditional games which have a rich culture and heritage value see here how they took uh, this main points from the given question passage one can develop a lot of skills like logical thinking concentration aiming observational and math skill so what are all unnecessary thing you should be avoid it you should know you must take uh, for this core of copy the only important and main point should be nowadays we develop these skill by paying money to centers that conduct the personal development courses traditional games acts as learning aids they teach us to learn to win and lose develop sensory skill and improve motor skills there is a lot to also a lot of fun they are the origin of many modern games see here from this passage there are uh, how many passages there and there are three passage from this three passage how i reduce how they given the point see here in the rough copy only and uh, next comes fair copy for the same title you must be a lot uh, it is very uh, noted down here after writing the rough copy what they did they strike the rough copy from left to right 
and now next one fair copy it will give us the same title traditional games children mostly play hit and run games like cricket tennis and football nowadays they join this two points as a one point kabadi goli gilli and daikattam and paramapadam pallangudi pandi and adupuli art or our traditional game which have a rich culture and heritage were second point third point one can develop a lot of skill like logical thinking concentration aiming observational and math skill now the fourth point the teachers to learn to win and lose develop sensory skill and improve motor skill at last the last point there is also a lot of fun they are the origin of many modern games they finish it but you should not strike the fair copy only you strike the what rough copy from left to right at the last at the conclusion of your summary writing there are two lines should be like two sentences should be noted down right because it carry one mark for what are they i told you now and words in given passage how much 150 suppose in your question the passage should be contain 150 words and uh, what you have to do next sentence words in my summary so in this line how many words are there 65 words one third should be right this 65 words should be in your fair copy must so not you should not be extend the words because i told you the note making and summary writing should be short all the complete information it should be understandable it should be logical so according to that you must write it you must uh, you must not write whatever you need and now student and i told you how to write note making tips i given easy method to write and not only that what are the point you should follow while you are writing note making and summary writing and these should be follow because this question will come 9 10 11 and 12 question for 9th and 10 question number 43 and 11 and 12 44 so you must attend this question and get the full marks if you are writing fully you may score full marks 10 out of 10 suppose in your uh, question paper they will ask you only summary writing or the note making or note making or summary writing means you must read the question what they given and or or and means you write both you get full mark 10 out of 10 and now if they ask in your question paper note making or summary writing but you must compulsory must write only summary writing that is writing rough copy and fair copy like this you attended and score good marks good marks and thank you one and all take care thank you